Jewish life is flourishing in the UAE. First came schools and community centers, and now the Persian Gulf's first modern kosher supermarket is opening its doors in Dubai. It's called Rimon, which is the Hebrew word for pomegranate. And the owner, Mrs. Sonia Selim, joins us now. Thank you very much uh, for being with us, and congratulations on your new venture. You must be very excited. Thank you, and thank you for having me. Of course, we're very excited. This is the first, you mentioned Jewish schools, um, school, singular for now. And uh, when we founded it two years ago, we didn't know where we were going. And today it's a tremendous success. So uh, this is exactly what we're hoping for, for Ramon. Um, and we're very excited, of course. This is really the translation in real life of the Abraham Accords, which um, um, needs to be translated in everyday life for the Jewish community. So we're very happy. And are you expecting uh, a lot of customers? It's difficult to talk about numbers right now because, as I said, it's a first. So we don't really know um, what to expect. Um, we know it's going to be a success. We have uh, seen a lot of interest already before we even opened. Um, so, yeah, this is this is really not an issue. We know that uh, we will be successful. Is this something that's been sorely lacking for the Jewish community, do you think? Well, you know, when I first uh, moved to Dubai, I met with uh, Rabbi Levi Duchman, the uh, chief rabbi of the UAE, and the first question I asked is, so where do I get food? Where do I get kosher food? And in a very hospitable way, he answered, my freezer is always open for you. So I thought, okay, this is really very kind from him, but this is not the sustainable solution that we're looking for. So here we are now. It's definitely a need. It's definitely something that was uh, uh, being asked for. And, um, and now it's here and it's done. And uh, it's so important because we see how the community came together to, to make this happen. And it's quite wonderful. Rabbi Duchman is, is known to be a very generous man, isn't he? Well, tell us then, so people can obviously get uh, kosher meat in your store. What else can people find in Rimon that they won't be able to get anywhere else in Dubai? Well, anything kosher, really. Uh, there's dry products coming from Israel, as you said, meat, chicken uh, coming from uh, the US, from Europe, from Argentina as well from all over and uh, it just serves kosher needs and we are hoping for non uh, kosher observant people to also come and uh, and experience the month everybody needs to try the bisli and the bamba don't they absolutely how does it feel to be part of this growing jewish community well first of all we're very grateful to the rabbi um, for everything he's doing uh, as i said the community of first first mikveh first jewish school nursery um, first now supermarkets. It's so fascinating to not only witnessing but being part of this pioneer lifestyle uh, that is happening here and, and, and this, this notion of tolerance and openness and open-mindedness that you don't really see elsewhere in the world these days. Yes, yeah, sadly, we, we talk a lot, don't we? We, we see a lot of anti-Semitism uh, elsewhere in the world, in Europe, in the United States, uh, for example, where, where Jewish communities are, are, are really suffering. Why do you think it's different in Dubai? Well, there's many reasons why it's different, but I can tell you as a French-born Ashkenazi Jew, this threat of anti-Semitism is always somewhere in the, in the back of my head. And since I've lived here, I see that there are other ways of life that are possible. Uh, it's not, it, it doesn't have to be this way. Um, now, why? Well, of course, because of the leadership whom I have personally, and I think the whole community is extremely grateful um, for this, this, uh, this peace um, and this uh, quietness, uh, really this freedom that we are allowed to live in, not just us as Jews, but all the uh, Dubai and UAE residents really feel so safe here.